Well, hello there. It's Monochrome. It's been three weeks or two. I'm, I'm not sure. I think it's more than two weeks. Anyway, a lot of things have happened in two weeks. Like I bought myself a 1080p monitor. Now I can actually show you guys that um, or not. Here we go. 1920 by 1080. Now I no longer have to record in 720p. 1080p is available at the moment. What else have I done? Well, DebConf 23 happened and I went to DebConf, yay. It was pretty fun. What else happened? A lot of things happened that I remember. Well, I got myself a desktop as well, so I have another machine to work with, yay. So I can run video editing, video editing and all straight on that machine on Caden Live instead of having to rely on the MacBook and Final Cut Pro. A friend of ours who was a Debian developer sadly passed away during a kayaking event in DebConf 23, so that's kind of sad. I don't think there is more things. Maybe there are more things I can't remember. Anyway, in the previous episode of Dragon Ball Z, what have we done? I, I forgot. I think we have uh, done like the bar. Yeah, that, that was the, f the last thing we done. We need to do a little, little bit more stuff. Uh, like screenshot at the moment doesn't work uh, some other stuff doesn't work I guess so we're gonna fix that the easiest method is to use someone else's config instead of writing it yourself obviously so all you have to do is go to my git repository which is at co codeberg.com at codeberg.org slash monochrome slash monochrome sway dots and inside the scripts folder, like in the last video, we have a lot of scripts of which some of them are useful, some of them aren't. Some of them I uh, I don't even use it myself. Just go and download a screenshot and set background. Yeah, those two are important. Screencast doesn't work at the moment. There is a bit of a issue with WF recorder. This this thing. So there's a bit of an issue, so I haven't fixed it yet. Meanwhile, screenshot works just fine. Uh, set BG is for setting wallpapers. And there is nothing else that you need. Maybe if you... I, uh, I guess if you need like a... I think you can just run toggle here and then it will work without any of the script. Not really required. So all you have to do is download screenshot. And uh, set BG. <clears throat> Let's go back and then it should be in down downloads, right? Downloads. We have these two scripts. I'm just going to move those to. Wait. I'd... Let's see. Yeah, I do have a scripts folder, so. Oh, yeah, I just need uh, documents, scripts, then. Yep, it should be there. CD. Oops. Alright, those are done. This is pretty simple. If I if you go to screen shot, this is the whole code, which is very simple. Uh, to take screenshots on uh, on Sway, it's basically just grim. Yeah, that that's it. You have taken a screenshot. That, so if you open, see that is a screenshot now. If I do IMV twenty, yep, that is pretty much it for screenshots but uh, on desktop environments it is a lot more fancier let's take gnome for example if you take a screenshot on gnome it takes a screenshot and saves it into a particular directory 
and then it shows a notification that screenshot has been taken and then it also copies the screenshot to your clipboard so then you can paste it somewhere i wanted similar kind of experience on a window manager that's why i have made this screenshot script so if you open this guy there is well two functions and a help screen we can skip this anyway it's just simple there is this code segment which basically just creates a folder called pictures slash screenshots if it doesn't exist then full screen takes full screen screenshots and then selecting is for selecting a small segment and then taking a screenshot like that both of them just use grim and slurp this is a file name uh, that the file will be called using the date command and then we take the screenshot using grip i mean grim then we copy that using wl copy and then it sends a notification that screenshot is taken uh, with the file as well so it will show up as an image in selecting it's exactly the same the name is slightly different but here you use hyphen g for geometry and then we specify uh, slurp this is just a hex value for a color you can choose whatever you want and once that is done it will send a notification and also copy the thing onto your clipboard very simple and then there is a help screen i'll show you the script in action which is screen if i do dot slash screenshot and then hyphen f it will take a screenshot and uh, well as you can see there is a image i think it would be easier if I do it here hyphen f it will take a screenshot and uh, it is also copied to my clipboard so I can paste it in a chat client or something like that <coughs> meanwhile you can do dash s and it will show you this white screen where you can just drag this is basically slurp by the way and it just takes that as a screenshot very simple very efficient nothing else what else set bg does a lot of things actually uh, on sway you can set a wallpaper using a program called sway bg you just provide sway bg and then an image and then set mode and that's pretty much it i think you can just do set bg m and then help and it will show you all the modes i guess no i don't think it does maybe it's on man sway bg yeah it's on man i guess no wait it doesn't say yeah the scaling options for mode is like fill stretch fit center tile etc etc that's pretty much it for the program <clears throat> but uh yeah that's pretty much it for the program so what i have done here is add a lot of other things to it <clears throat> as you can see it's kind of the same concept there are small functions and then there is like a big code block that get executed here set wall is a function that just sets the wallpaper so it takes the first variable like dollar one if you type in something like yeah near fetch and then you add something else this is dollar one this is dollar two this is dollar three etc etc i forgot the name for the thing i i know i, I did computer sciences uh, in college but i still don't remember that anyway this is dollar one so it takes that so if i were to do something like set bg then location to wallpaper you know something like something dot png or something like that this is dollar one that is basically this if it's shuffle then it will look for wallpapers in pictures slash wallpapers and then shuffle and take one as the wallpaper foon is something that i have mentioned uh, in my first video it's a program called ping foon which can create uh, this moon 
uh, image, a bitmap kind of image based on the face of the moon. Uh, you should check that out. So this is for that. You can skip this of course. And here, this is the things that the set BG script does. First, it notifies that set uh, wallpaper is being set and it provides wallpaper. So just like in the screenshot, it, it will show you the image of the wallpaper and then says setting wallpaper. And then I copy or I just do a link to the wallpaper on on the directory to config sway wall because So what I have done was set the background for all the monitors as this file, which is the wallpaper. So basically this is for this. And then we kill Sway BG if it's running in the background because you cannot set a new wallpaper when Sway BG is already running. So you have to kill that and run it again. So you kill any existing instance of Sway BG and then you run hyphen i with the wallpaper location and then using the mod fill. After that is done, I added some extra features. This is pretty much all you need. The notify send creating lock screen image is basically for lock screen. So I like my lock screen to have the same wallpaper but blurred. So I use image magic to convert the wallpaper to a blurred one and then it's saved as wall, wall slash wall blurred and then this is for neofetch cache uh, because if you use neofetch with the image preview options uh, since my wallpaper is in wall neofetch creates a thumbnail for wall but when the wall gets over at overwritten for something else it's still called wall so neofetch will not update the cache so i'll have to remove the cache every time a new wallpaper is set so that's this and that's kind of it so I can show this uh, in action, I guess. Dot slash set BG and then let's see if I have an image on my system, which I don't think I have, which is good, I guess. Uh, let's just hunt for some wallpaper first. Uh, wall haven dot CC. So if anyone is confused where I get my wallpapers from. Yep, pretty much from this. Also, this issue is a bug in ncurses. You will have to install ncurses-git to fix it or downgrade to an older version of ncurses. Let's go to... Let's see if I can show any of this because, you know, Wallhaven has a lot of sus content. So I'm just going to use this wallpaper because it looks good and and it is NSFW free or like it's it's SFW that's what I meant so I'm just gonna save the image into downloads and then we'll go to set BG and then downloads and wallhaven.jpg once that is done I think image magic is not installed on my system as you can see here the lock screen stuff and everything will happen and then well the wallpaper is set let me just install image magic as well all right so image magic is installed so if i run the script again it should set the wallpaper and creating the lock screen does use image magic so it does peak the CPU a bit and once that is done we can see that the blurred version of the wallpaper is here it's slightly blurred, blurred not completely blurred but that's all right that's what I need And the regular wallpaper is stored in wall. That's kind of it for that. We do want to change the Rofi because the Rofi looks pretty standard, you know, default Rofi now. So for that, we'll just go to Aditya's 
Rofi get repo because it has a lot of good themes that people would like. Where was this? Yeah, if you press these buttons, this tree gets opened. As you can see, there is a lot of Rofi launchers. There is a lot of applets. People like stuff like these, so you can just download these uh, from this repository, which is quite simple. You have to install Rofi. Uh, we already have Rofi, the Wayland version installed, so we don't want to do any of this. All you have to do is just copy that, paste that, and so I seed it into it and then chmod dot slash setup and uh, Rofi has installed but this doesn't really change anything now that the config is broken what you have to do is go to dot config so go to dot config and Rofi there should be a folder called Rofi now and as you can see there is power menu launchers images config colors, applets, scripts, stuff like this. This is all part of of um, the setup. As you can see, if I go to images, there are a lot of PNGs. Anyway, let me just pause the video for a second and uh, install a couple of other things because the NCURSUS bug is bugging me. So for, fi for fixing that, we'll have to install Encurses git and uh, at the moment Sway right now is only having the default manual tiling. I prefer a BSPWM kind of style of automatic tiling. So for that we'll have to install auto tiling as well. So I'm going to install auto tiling RS which is the Rust version of it. I think it's slightly faster. The regular version is written in Python. Well, after all of the installation is done, there was a lot of compiling to do. Now we have removed ncurses and installed ncurses git. Now if I open ranger, there is no issues anymore. All right, and there is this thing called auto tiling. If you run that, you can just spawn windows like in PSPWM instead of the regular way which is kind of like this, it just keeps doing whatever that is specified, it's either vertical or horizontal. I prefer the way BSPWM does, so this has to be run. To do that, uh, just edit your Sway config. And then somewhere Let's just add it here for simple auto run on launch. All right, so what you have to do is exec, then create a bracket, and then you add all the things that you want to run when Sway is launched. If you use exec, it will only run when Sway is first started, as in uh, when you log in and then space started 
so if you do super shift c it will not really run the program again if you want super shift c to also restart the programs then you'll have to use exact always that is the way to do uh, i'll just use regular exact because that's all that i need here we are going to type in auto tie auto tiling if i can spell rs and if you want something like u disk or something so you can do u disk u disk key something like that i forgot the exact command but you can add anything that you want to start along swipe's way like i use swing sync thing so i can just do sync thing no browser i guess i think that was the browser that will run sync thing during boot and stuff like that that's a lot of stuff that i like so i'm just going to save that and then well, i'll just run auto tiling on a terminal somewhere because it only automatically starts when sway is restarted i don't want to restart sway at the moment so once that is done we can go back let's open up ranger and go to rofi here we have all the all these uh, things this is basically your older existing theme so since rofi already has a thing when you install the aditya's version of rofi it creates this folder which just is your older config uh, since mine doesn't have anything i can just remove it and it's fine so i'm just going to go here there is a lot of stuff like images as you can see what you want to do is go to scripts because there is a lot of stuff here what you actually want to do is go to scripts and then run these and see what works for you so let's run launch uh, t1 that is this what about t2 that is this what about t5 notebook style so once you find something that you like uh what about the 4 5 6 7 no nope, that doesn't work some st some stuff just doesn't work because of rofi versioning issues so there is only seven themes uh, there is only seven launches i guess i'm just going to use this one i guess or maybe second one look nicer right so i'm just going to use this uh so what you want to do is sway config what you want to do is instead of uh, the rofi menu command that we have here we just want to run this shell script so i'm going to do set Right, there is a menu button somewhere here right yeah so menu yep just change this exact and then you just provide the paths so of home monochrome uh dot config rofi scripts and then launch a uh, hyphen t2 so once that is done you can super shift c to restart sway and i think i broke something yes i did yes i did sway crashed i don't really know the reason why so i am back We are back onto the file, so I think the script says 
on regular yeah so now mod d should execute this if the path is correct let's just see let's just see with home config rofi config no it's rofi scripts right and then ah yeah the spelling mistake of course it's underscore so once that is done you can just do yep that's quite simple you can do the same with other stuff like uh, forget that i don't have any of my aliases here uh, let's go to dot config and then to rofi then in scripts we have launchers and then got some power menus as well so let's try those and try those power bot menus so toast slash power menu uh, t1 okay that looks nice okay this is pretty nice so i'm just gonna use t2 as my lock locking thingy so for that I am going to just replace Swainag so super shift Q used to give me this thingy with uh, an ability to exit Sway so I'm just gonna close that also just let me just move this to workspace 3 I mean all right so it's easier that way so I'm gonna do that so for that all you have to do is remove all of that and then go type in the path for the menu t2 that should be enough uh, but here is a bit of an issue uh, it's not really an issue it's just that it's just that uh, these buttons will do something but it might just be different for different window managers like for example we have shut down reboot suspend and stuff like that so if I go down to shutdown it just runs system CTL shutdown. So if you are running something like Artex or Void or something like that, you don't have system system D. So the command will be different. Um, <clears throat> for logout, we have like these options. Like this is for OpenBox, this is for i3, this is for PSPWM. So what we have to do is uh, you can create your own, but you're not gonna use any of everything at once right so i'm just gonna remove everything and remove this if statement and then type in something simple like i think this is the f yep that is it for this one so we're just gonna do sway lock uh, i mean sway message hyphen hyphen no it's just sway message exit i think that is the command once that is done, you can log out using Sway message. But <clears throat> here in the lock screen, we uh, we can see that it's either better lock screen and uh, i3 lock, but we are using Sway lock. Have we installed Sway lock? Yet? Yes, Sway lock. Yes, we do have Sway lock installed. So what we have to do is. remove all of this run something like a run cmd 
nope, just runs waylock, yeah, that's it. Swaylock. And then if you run the power menu, let's see if I have that in my, nope, it doesn't seem to be. So if I do homes, uh, I don't really need to do home, right? So that config, Rofi, scripts, power menu, T2. These buttons will do the exact thing. So this will um, exit sway and uh, stuff like that. And uh, this will lock the, this will lock sway. That is quite simple. Once that's done, we can just save and quit. And from then on, what's super shift C and that should work. The only thing we haven't done is we haven't edited the sway lock config yet. So sway lock would look something like this. That is pretty trash. So I have a custom theme that I use, which is very simple. All it does is it shows you a clock and um, the blurred version of your wallpaper. And when you type the password, it opens, that's it. Which is on my Git repo, I guess. Let's just open a browser. It might just take a while because you know, hard drive and slow uh, hardware in general. So I'm just gonna go with uh, So I'm just gonna go to my git repo, go back a spot. So inside config. Yeah, by the way, I added images by the way. Wait, give it a second, give it a second. Yeah, so this is like my custom setup. As you can see, the power menu is similar. Where is the mouse? Yeah. Anyway, we go to config. <coughs> And then we go down to sway lock. This is basically it. Click and then we can just save it on dot config sway lock. So if I go to config sway lock, yep, that is a config. We can just get that out. Yep. So once that is done, we can just do the same sway lock again. And this time you get a pretty good wallpaper as your lock screen and you have time. You type in the, you type in the wrong password. He hit enter, it says verifying and then it says it's wrong. You can hit the backspace and it says clear. And then you can just type in your proper password and hit enter. I think I typed, typed it wrong, of course I did. Yep, you type it the correct way and it opens. Quite simple. That is pretty much it for Swaylock. Uh, I think that is a proper setup at the moment. You have a bar working, you have a run launcher that works, you have a, you know, you have a run launcher, you have key bindings to open up your programs, you have auto tiling, uh, what else? What else do you need? I don't think you need anything. If you want to change stuff, you can use command line programs or you can install your own stuff. If you want to change volume, you have pulse mixer. Uh, if you want to use a graphical one, you can use power control. I don't think there is anything else to do. That is pretty much it for the series. Uh, I think I will add like a few more other kind of niche things I guess but apart from that that's pretty much it for this whole series from here on out you can just do your own thing to be honest change things uh, the way you want it and then you'll get a setup that is similar to you what you like instead of copying someone else's setup that might not be what you want because a lot of friends use my configs like three or four of my friends use my own configs but it's my config, it's not theirs. So there is a bit of a disconnect that you will face if you use just my config directly as it is. Well, that's it 
for this video and i will see you guys in another one